My name is Ethan Feintreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Southern Utah's desert terrain always has a knack for making me feel like I'm in some sort of video game. The environment and terrain of this red rock desert give it an unearthly appearance. But I'm not down here just to admire the scenery. I'm here to find snakes. And a species that you will almost never fail to see here in Washington County is the variable ground snake. Yes! I got one! Okay. Told you! Ground snake, finally! This right here is the variable ground snake. Um, so these guys have a huge variability in their appearance, and that's what gives them their name, variable ground snake. The most common way people find these guys is flipping rocks and finding these guys kind of curled up underneath them. The rocks here warm up pretty nicely in the sun, so these guys don't even have to be out in the sun to get all their warmth. They can just be sitting under a nice warm rock. One of my favorite things about this snake is just how smooth they are. When it slithers through my fingers, it feels kind of, it just feels really weird almost. You can recognize it by its the, just these classic black and orange bands. That is usually the phase you'll see around Utah. Normally, this is actually a rare snake to find, but here in Utah, they are prolific. They are everywhere here. So a lot of people think, is this snake venomous when they look at a snake that has bright colors? Like a coral snake has those colors. These specific bright colors to warn a potential predator that they're toxic is called aposomatic coloration. And this snake here is absolutely no exception. He's just kind of wrapped around my pinky now. <laughs> it's the present, makes the presentation easy. Is this a dangerous snake? Am I, in an, am I in any danger right now? And the answer is no. This is a completely non-venomous snake. They are completely harmless. If you see one and you're scared of snakes, just leave it be. Um, if you want it off of your property, then you can call someone. Whether it be venomous or not, you can call someone about that and they can get the job done. It's, it's interesting because they have so many different ways that they look, but they're not separated in different species. A banded one versus a striped one is the exact same species. Does the variable ground snake make a good pet? And the answer is no. They are a terrible pet. They're not common in captivity anyway. Trying to grab one from the wild and keeping that as a pet is just a terrible idea, and they don't eat like your typical rodents. The only things that would make care for it easy is the fact that they uh, are not very big, so you wouldn't need a large enclosure for them. Uh, the main kind of habitats I've noticed these guys found in is usually kind of grassy areas. If you're right next to some sort of body of water, um, you might have a bit more vegetation, a bit more grass. I mean, there's a bunch in between my legs. Um, and usually when you see a lot of vegetation like that surrounding the rock you're gonna flip, you may or may not see one of these guys under it. But these guys also can be found in slightly drier habitats. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on this common yet gorgeous snake. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, hopefully, with a cooler snake. One of the most unique things about Utah is the abundance of these little beauties in this little corner of the state. Most people who live here have no idea that these snakes live all around them because of their fossorial lifestyle. So when you get out and explore, you'll find so much more than just a pretty flower or a cool landscape. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn more about this species, click the link down below where you'll find an extended version of this episode on Facebook. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.